Trump gets the last lap. This infamous fake news reporter was forced out by Amy Moreno for truthfeednews.com. The ABC investigative journalist whose fake news story on President Trump sent the stock market plummeting is now out at ABC News. Brian Ross is the man who blasted his fake news report that President Trump ordered General Michael Flynn to contact the Russians during the 2016 campaign. You'll recall ABC's The View host, Joy Behar, gleefully read the breaking news memo live on air. Gleefully, right? Apparently I was guilty of premature evaluation. (laughs) I hear they have a pill for that now. Here's what happened. ABC News reporter Brian Ross released a story claiming that when Trump was a candidate, he told Michael Flynn to contact the Russians. Ross later corrected himself, saying it was actually when Trump was president-elect. Now, Brian has been suspended for a month. And, uh, Sonny, you have a statement from ABC News. Let's hear that. Yes. ABC News says, We deeply regret and apologize for the serious error we made yesterday. The reporting conveyed by Brian Ross during the special report had not been fully vetted through our editorial standards process. As a result of our continued reporting over the next several hours, uh, ultimately we determined the information was wrong and we corrected the mistake on air and online. It is vital we get the story right and retain the trust we have built with our audience. These are our core principles. We fell far short of that yesterday. Effective immediately, Brian Ross will be suspended for four weeks without pay. Okay, that's ABC's statement. Brian Ross has released a a statement also on Sunday. He said, my job is to hold people accountable, and that's what I agree with, being held accountable myself. And that's why I agree with being held accountable myself. So he has basically, um, I I mean, I would say that this is a, people are slamming this as fake news. To me, it's a mistake. It's not, it's not he didn't deliberately put out a false piece of information. He made an error. What do you girls think? It's a significant error. Yeah, well, it was a significant error. Uh, She was later uh, forced to apologize, as did ABC News, when it was revealed that Ross' uh, source was a complete lie. Not one uh, single shred of truth. Now Ross is out at ABC, forced to retire in an epic moment of pure career shame. Uh, This incident, once again, proves that our fake news media is more focused on destroying President Trump than reporting the truth. From Breitbart, uh, Brian Ross, ABC's longtime investigative correspondent, is leaving the broadcaster after his erroneous report on former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn. Ross was suspended for four weeks without any pay in December of 2017. After falsely reporting, Donald Trump directed Flynn to make contact with Russian officials during the 2016 presidential campaign. The truth was that Trump made that order as president-elect, thus establishing international relations during his transition into the White House. Ross's executive producer, Rhonda Schwartz, is also leaving the network. After a great run of 24 years, we have to decide to pack up and move on from ABC News, an organization that has meant so much to us. We leave with enormous gratitude for all those who supported us and helped build the industry, uh, industry's most robust and honored investigative unit. Ross and Schwartz wrote in a letter sent by ABC News boss James Goldstone. Uh, While we are signing off from ABC News, we are hardly leaving investigative journalism. There is much more to do. Yeah, well, if uh, if we can uh, figure out what you did in the past, it doesn't say too much for you. Goldstone thanked Ross. Um, Anyway, I don't really care about the rest of this. A clarification tonight on something... Uh, One of Flynn's confidants told us, and we reported earlier today, he said the president had asked Flynn to contact Russia during the campaign, said Ross. He's now clarifying that saying, according to Flynn candidate, Trump asked him during the campaign to find ways to repair relations with Russia and other hotspots. And then after the election, the president-elect asked him, uh, told him to contact Russia on the issues, including working together to fight ISIS. The original false report sent the stock market into a sharp fall. 
over 350 points, all on fake news. Well, we don't need reporters such as those, even reporters on The View, and you see how they stuck up for him. Well, it's, a, uh, it's high time you get the fake uh, journalists out there. Let me know what you guys think uh, in the comments below, and again, thank you so much for watching.